Hey everybody, this is Sean Schlesinger with Silver Seas Yachts. Today I'm very proud to present to you a 2021 Cruisers Yachts 390 Express Coupe. This one's a special boat in that we have this one equipped with Volvo IPS 500. This boat was sold and delivered new in April of 21. So it's still covered under Cruisers warranty and the Volvo warranty. The owner is upgrading to a larger boat. So this is now on the market here. One of the special things about the Volvo IPS boats is that you're gonna have Garmin glass cockpit with an open array radar system on here. So you can see some of the other 390s are gonna have closed arrays. This does have the large extended swim platform. And the owner actually added a couple of rod holders and some downriggers in case you wanna pull in some crabs or do a little light fishing. Okay, now we'll take you aboard here. We've got the gray cockpit carpet. There are black covers. And I'll show you what the seats are like under the covers once I undo the whole boat. This is how it's all kept when it's nice and put away. Here we have our electrical panel. So we're gonna head out for a little sea trial. I'm gonna turn on my helm main to activate all that. You got some blowers that you can turn on there. You can press and hold the generator. Um, It'll take 20 seconds for a generator to start. You're gonna see that flashing orange light, which indicates that it's starting, the glow plug warms up and then the generator will fire up. And you can hear it take off there. It's good, it's green. So we're gonna switch off of shore power here. Um, I like to turn off the big loads, like the AC, before I do the, any switchovers. Go over to the generator. You can see the power came back on in the generator. Put a transfer switch back on. And I'm gonna turn on some AC there. Um, definitely gonna run that because it's kind of a colder day out here. So we'll flip on the cockpit AC and keep it toasty up there. All right, so now that our panel's ready to go, up top we go for a sea trial. So this is our cockpit heat control. We've got different modes, auto, temperature, on, off. So right now it's in auto. We can put it up to 69 degrees. You're getting airflow coming out of these guys right there, which is pretty nice. This big guy right here. It'll be toasty in here. So this boat's a special boat. We've got Garmin glass cockpit paired with the Volvo IPS 500s. Hit OK to accept. There we go. Engines are on. As of this video, we got 44 hours on this thing, just about 45. treat so we're using the Volvo joystick here nice tight area back here This boat has the IPS 500s. I've seen it with the IPS 400s. Typically we see it with the stern drives. Um, there's no doubt that the performance around the dock is way better with the IPS. It's much more precise. Um, the boat feels heavier, it is heavier. It moves through the water a little bit better. Uh, I love the glass cockpit with all of our engine information and everything dialed in there. Um, so there's a lot of pluses, but that's part of the reason you get a price tag that's a hundred grand more than the gas one, so. All right, let's put the throttles down here and see what this thing does. Ooh, yeah, he picks up and goes. So this is with no trim tabs, just for giggles. Thing, 
him. Woohoo! <laughs> Look at that, looking out the sunroof to see where we're turning to. opportunity on this boat this is a great one i didn't make very many of these with uh, the diesels especially with the ips 500s I, it, this is a fun boat <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so i'll just note that i'm sitting here with the heater on really nice here at the helm you got the extra seating I've got the sunroof open, I'm toasty warm, I'm actually sweating, it's really hot out. There's a misconception that you need to have a fully enclosed boat for the Bay Area all the time. It, while that is nice, um, I can say that with cockpit heat and air, you can be totally comfortable in a more open style boat. As long as you've got that nice front windshield there, it protects all the wind hitting you. It's uh, quite pleasurable to be out here. So I've engaged the low speed here just to show you that. We're doing two and a half, 2.6 miles per hour. You can play with that a little bit if you want to stay in that low mode. So we're just going down the channel here about seven miles an hour, uh, about a thousand RPMs, 990. Nice quiet ride. So while going down this channel here, we do have joystick driving. I've engaged that. You can use this for evasive maneuvering going to turn the boat rather sharply you can also do this at high speed um, and if you just want to change your heading you can do a tap and that'll do one degree at a time or you can do a twist and hold and that'll do change your course by 10 degrees at a time twist hold you can see us coming around changing our course twist hold and so this is an autopilot integrated into your joystick. Um, super handy for going in straight lines. Locator slip. I believe this one is ours.
about my stern line. Undo my loop. I'll walk over here, I've set up my bow line. And just grab that, it comes right off. You can press and turn off your ignitions or you can key fob and turn them off and lock them at the same time. See a little red light there? Engines and the EBC system is now shutting down and off. It'll depower everything here. It'll automatically do it after half a minute or you can hit OK and it'll do it for you. Time to plug in the shore power. So stepping into our cockpit, we do have seating on both sides and the port seating will slide over into the starboard seating with a release of this you can then transform this boat and we can open this up raise the backrest on either side boat hook here. Raise up a backrest here. Kick back and you've got your view opened up to the water. Pretty sweet. You can also open these guys all the way up. Support a table flips over. Now you can see how with the pressure of this you can actually turn this into a nice little flat tongue. For those of you that can't just visualize it, I'll demo it for you. You got some beds all filled in. This has plenty of support now. Lay back, take a nap, and the stars. <laughs> so that's pretty sweet. Put some blankets and pillows out. It's a really nice area, way to hang out. If you don't want to be feeling like you're falling off, you can raise that back up. Now you still have a pretty sweet sunbed out here. Take all this down. It's on a sliding track, so you can actually slide this door which is your center walkway piece from one side to the other and then it'll clip in over here so that on a colder day like today we can go out we've got cockpit heat you can see a couple of those barbecue is right here sit wet bar sink um, you got the large sunroof this gray seating is something new from cruisers that we haven't seen too much of usually these boats are in white I do really like this gray. It's a pretty sweet setup. I'm gonna show you around cabin here real quick. We got three steps down. This is the forward cabin. Um, this will make into a bed as well. I just demoed the rear bed. Same thing, the table pushes down. There's two pillar cushions that are kept underneath the seat, I believe. Well, maybe it's on the other side. You do have a vacuum desktop on there. Um, you also have bunk beds on both sides. So you can make that into a full bed down here with bunk beds on that side and on that side. Cushions underneath there. There's your galley. And a very nice spacious head. Large shower in here um, plenty of headroom you guys know i'm 6'3 and just about to touch there got a nice little deep vanity space um, very comfortable i like the skylight 
and this is a massive separate shower in here. Down in our salon area, we've got a nice skylight here that brings in a lot of light. Large window behind our galley area. You've got a two burner cooktop. Nice large fridge here with a little ice box. Stainless steel sink. Plenty of storage up here. Microwave convection oven. Still brand new. And we've got a closing door to our master stateroom. So stepping into our master, got a nice little bench seat here. You can see I'm sitting down, plenty of room in here. And then you've got a double sized bed in here with a TV on the wall that will swing around. Looks to be like a 32 inch, maybe bigger TV. Um, another window. On Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll sign off here and uh, please let me know if you have any questions.